so god okay so if you don't like to just make random holes everywhere you could use this for a base you could store things in it is a storage room you could leave it completely empty you could put furnaces in here you could put, you could make this an enchantment room you can do anything with it if you're playing like a mod pack multiplayer mod pack which is like vaults this is something I really always wanted to do. Go on bolts, you make this like a nuclear reactor room. Because I know how they have like these giant reactors you can build. That are like... I don't know how big they are. But I know you can do that. So you can just come down here. Put one of those down here if you build it big enough. Uh, you could make your base in like a volts thing. Just build like a missile silo that goes up. To the surface and launch missiles out of it. I always wanted to do that in vaults. I always wanted to do a vaults war type thing, but I can't. I can't do that on this laptop. Because I'm wondering if I'll actually have a computer where I can do that on. Never played vaults. Computer. I tried to play it on once. But it didn't work on there. I don't think my computer was good enough for it either. Oh, there's lava nearby. That's either a good sign that there's diamonds nearby, or it's a good sign that death is near for me. Speaking of lava and death is near for me, if you have not seen it, go look at the um, Minecraft Ultra Hardcore Survival Challenge video part 6. The final video. I'm not going to spoil what happens. Basically here, I'm hoping that we can uh, go to the, the end eventually. I want to get there and have like full diamond armor or something. Because that'd be amazing. I think it takes talent, mining talent to get full diamond armor. It takes a lot of patience, definitely. Spent days looking in Minecraft on the Xbox just to find enough ar diamonds to make just a little bit of armor. And then maybe on here we could find a dungeon. And if I do that, then I can make a, uh, a mob grinder. With a mob grinder, I can get enough XP to enchant everything. So, don't really know what to say now. The whole entire time I've had something to say, now I'm just, now I'm just playing out nothing to say. Well, I'm having no luck down here. If this pickaxe breaks down here without finding a single diamond, I will go to that cave up there, right above me. Like, um, that cave up there, that's actually, I don't think it's that far. Count the torches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's pretty far, actually. It's a probably place to, like, torch everything. Uh, might be 35 blocks, so. Every seven blocks, maybe. Now it'd be 35. I don't know. It looks like it'd be pretty close up, actually. So, yeah. one thing I did was uh, I did this, and then I found a cave, a giant ravine full of lava, and that's where I found almost all my diamonds. It's like once you hit one diamond, you eventually find like three more right next to it. They usually come in groups. You most likely will not find one diamond by itself. I know you can, but most of the time it's in groups of at least two. I think the most I've ever found is like six or eight in a group. I think it's been like eight. Uh, probably.
the six. I think it's most commonly found in like groups of four. I remember the first time I ever found diamonds. I was using a kind of this technique. I dug out an area like this and I did three by three tunnels. Like say like right here. And I just dug straight down that way. I dug for so long I made a huge tunnel. I didn't find one diamond. I was on my way back out of the mine one day, giving up after that long day of work. I was just walking through. I was looking at the top of my screen, and all of a sudden, it was just right there, right in the top of the cave. Just missed it. But for some reason, I had I knew how to find diamonds without being told by anyone. It was like it was my natural insti instinct to dig right at that level. Because the way I discovered Minecraft was I was looking on YouTube, and I just saw a video that was like Minecraft co-op let's play thing and I looked at it and I thought wow that game looks stupid I'm never gonna try it I'm never even gonna watch a video about it and then one day I decided oh, why not it just keeps popping up on like my, my little uh, suggested videos thing so I take a look at it and like af afterwards I was like uh, where can I get this game? So I went to the Minecraft website. I tried the classic version. Didn't really like that. Downloaded the game. Didn't know how to play, so I watched the Yawks cast play. And it was the co-op mode and the Yawks cast that got me into Minecraft. I started playing Minecraft, in fact, in beta 1.6. I remember it was that long ago. Minecraft only. Minecraft did only cost like $20 then. Now it costs almost $30, I think. So, yeah, it cost a lot of money now compared to when it did before. As the updates go, I'm guessing it's gonna get even more expensive but the xbox one doesn't the xbox version of minecraft stays exactly the same it's twenty dollars i think this the computer one is at like probably like twenty seven dollars by now slowly working its way up i really don't oh yeah i said i was gonna explore the cave So that'll be it for now. Goodbye.